Neil Bledsoe, who has starred in movies on both Hallmark and Great American Family, has announced to Variety that he is leaving Great American Family due to inclusivity concerns, and he hopes the channel will change one day. He just starred in a new Christmas movie opposite Danica Michaela called Christmas at the Drive-In. Bledsoe said his concerns were why he had not been promoting the movie like he normally would. He said the LGBTQIA plus community helped him when he once struggled struggled with the narrow definition of masculinity in an exclusive statement to Variety. Bletsu said he was distancing himself from Great American Family, a new network that has signed a number of contracts with Hallmark stars. He added that he's also donating to True Colors United and hopes others will do the same. He began his statement by telling Variety how important the LGBTQIA plus community has been to him throughout his life, especially during a time when he struggled with society's definition of what masculinity means. My life will not be where it is today without the love, support, and guidance of the LGBTQIA plus community, he said, adding that mentors, agents, managers, writers, teachers, and more had all influenced his life and he owed them all. As someone who struggled as a young man with our society's extremely narrow definition of masculinity, it was their community that provided me with refuse and a guiding light when my life felt lost, he shared. Bletsu also said that he needs to stand up for the LGBTQIA plus community just like they helped him in the past. And now, if I can't stand up for that community in their time of need, my debt to them means nothing. So I want to be very clear. My support for LGBTQIA plus community is unconditional. Nothing is worth my silence or their ability to live and love freely in a world that we are lucky enough to share with them. Bletsu then went on to explain to Variety that some had noticed he had been quiet about his new Christmas movie with Danica Michaela, and this is why. He said, You may have noticed that I have been unusually silent at a time when I should have been promoting a holiday film, a film with the express purpose of bringing everyone comfort in a time of great tumult and change. But I can't continue with business as usual. I cannot take comfort from, nor will I give refuse to those who excuse exclusion and promote division in any way, shape, or form. Michaela herself also issued a statement about inclusivity just before Thanksgiving, saying that she is a new Christian and believes in all forms of healthy love between adults. My husband and I were privileged to attend my good friend's beautiful wedding to his husband earlier this year in Mexico, she wrote, referring to Jonathan Bennett's wedding. She added that she supports representation, and as far as I can tell, Jesus loves and includes everyone, that's kind of his thing. In his statement, Bletsu said that while everyone is entitled to their beliefs, he believes that the recent comments made by leadership at Great American Family are hurtful, wrong, and reflect an ideology that prioritizes judgment over love. He added that he was raised a Christian and he believes in the essential message of love and forgiveness. Bilsu added, that said I could never forgive myself for continuing my relationship with a network that actively chooses to exclude the LGBTQIA plus community. Bilsu also said that the issue is not the freedom to express beliefs that he disagrees with, but someone in an executive position speaking about deliberate exclusion. He went on to say that most romantic movies are not about marries, but about people falling in love. So the phrase, traditional marries, is as odious as it is baffling. He added that describing representing the LGBTQIA plus community as a train is also both troubling and confusing. Bletsu noted that when the Mormon Church supports marriage equality and the right is about to be codified into law, the question is whether any organization that stands against such love will be trending toward the dustbin of history. He said that he reached out to a friend who grew up out and brown in the South and his friend talked about when Elizabeth Taylor visited the lonely people of dying AIDS when society was shunning them. Her compassion was neither cool nor work nor a virtue signal. It was just the right thing to do, he wrote. Bletsu went on to share a statement from his friend. 
His friend pointed out that by leaving the LGBTQA plus community out of Christmas movies, a network is communicating the belief that happiness is impossible with us in the picture. Worse yet, that we don't deserve happiness simply because of who we are. The animus is not simply to hate the scene, it's to get the sinner to hate themselves so much that they capitulate to this coercive narrative. Bladesu continued writing, The thought that my work could be used to deliberately discriminate against anyone horrifies and infuriates me. I hope the great American family will change, but until everyone can be represented in their films with pride, my choice is clear. Bladesu is not shy about speaking out when it's important to him. In March, he spoke out about celebrities who were silent about Ukraine. At the time, he said, My objective here is not to draw attention to myself or pick fights with celebrities and brands. Instead, I want to raise awareness for an ongoing crisis that I fear will get much worse before it gets better. Obviously, I'm no foreign policy expert, nor do I pretend to be, but I'm someone who is trying to dig into the truth and share that truth when I find it. Thank you for checking this video out. We will see each other very soon with another video. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. If you have anything to say, do let us know in the comment section below. We will make sure to reply to our comments.